To simplify the task of sharing files and printers over a home network, Microsoft has created a new interface called Home Group. Here you're going to be able to find the most common network-based sharing tasks. First though, you're going to need to set up a Home Group, so let's do that now. We access Home Group by clicking the Windows Orb or Start button and going to Control Panel. Next, under Network and Internet, you'll find Home Group. Now here you'll see Home Group as well as Choose Home Group and Sharing Options, which you won't be able to do until you've set up the Home Group or joined someone else's Home Group. So let's click Home Group. Now here you'll notice there's currently no Home Group on the network. So the first step for us is to create that Home Group. And you do have some links for getting help. You can learn more about Home Groups, talk about events and sharing settings, and you can start the Home Group Troubleshooter from here as well. But we're going to create a Home Group. And the first step is to choose the libraries we're going to share. Do we want to share documents, pictures, music, videos, printers, and so on? I'm going to deselect everything except for documents and printers. When I click Next, it's time for me to write down the password that's assigned by default. Now this password can be changed later on and we can print it out right from this link below the password itself. But this is the password people will need to join your home group. So once you've written it down, click Finish. And now you've got your first home group on the network. Here you can see the libraries and printers being shared, documents and printers. Of course, we can make changes right from here. It's our home group. You can also stream pictures, music, and videos to all devices on the home network by clicking this checkbox. And then you can see there's a number of other actions down below. Here's where we go to change the password, for example. Or if you want to leave a home group, you can do that from here. All right, let's click Cancel. So a home group is now available. Other people can join our home group. What if we want to specify certain files or folders that should not be shared? For example, our exercise files. Well, double-clicking this will open up Windows Explorer. And you'll notice in Windows Explorer, when you move to any of your different libraries or folders, you're going to see in the toolbar a Share With option. So when I click Share With, you'll notice that I can share this with Home Group as a read-only folder or read-write. Now by default, it's already selected. It's already part of my home group because I chose it during the installation process. But if I didn't want anyone to have access to my exercise files, I would choose Nobody. That kind of locks it so they won't have access to these specific folders and files. I'll close that up to return to my desktop. So now with any other Windows 7 PC on my home network, they can join our home group using the password that we just created. And this will give that computer access to whatever we've chosen to give access to. And they will not have access to those folders and files we chose not to share. So sharing your documents, media files, and printers on a home group network just got easier with Windows 7 Home Group.